every year brings new food trends, and who better to show us what's hot for 2020 than our three chefs! <laughs> Okay, let's talk a little bit about food trends. We find them very excited, exciting around here. As chefs, what do you think? You into them? I, I, I love it. Yeah, I think they love good. it. I think yeah. the good guidelines take them because they're interesting. But if you don't find some, don't feel you have to do the trends. You also could set your own trends too, right? Yes, it's like oh. anything. It's like fashion. It's like decor. You go with what you like. But it's always nice to know what's out there because you're going to be able to find it at grocery stores. Maybe you want to try it out. I feel like it's a peer pressure for adults. Right? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like you know, it makes you try things you don't more. You have to try, try it. Yeah. You got to try it. Because maybe, get, yeah, go ahead. No, it does get you to try things though that you might think, well, I don't know, and then you actually like, well, there's a reason. Why this is a trend? It's got to be pretty good. There you go. Oh, Except, yeah. does anyone really or, like kale? No. <laughs> I love the kale. I don't. Come on. I mean, if they're like kale with a ton of like dressing, okay, I can do it. Yeah. But it needs some. It Not needs something shape. with it. No. Not in But a then shape. maybe turn it around. No. It forces the chefs to use ingredients and make it work. I know yeah. what to do. I'll put a ton of dressing on this kale. Yeah. Bacon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I love it. Yeah. So I wonder how many people out there have tried squid ink pasta. Oh. Because that is what we're going to start with. Um, we're going to start with right now. So is the trend is the squid ink, I guess. It's a squid ink. So that's sure. what's big right now. What's so big about it? Um, full of iron. Okay. It's delicious. Can I smell it? Actually, you can totally smell it. It has a slight it smell scent like to it. It doesn't have a lot of flavor. It looks cool. It smells kind of fishy. Yeah, it yeah. smells a little bit fishy, right? <laughs> but it's on other flavors. It's really well. on the other yeah. stuff. But it, it's about it's the color. Gooey. But it's got full of iron. <laughs> like, and it's ooh. very good for you. <laughs> Gelatinous. Look at that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I wouldn't eat it like that because your teeth would be just amazing the, uh, for the rest yeah. of the <laughs> Well, remember when charcoal was very charcoal big? We talked about charcoal last year. So now it's the squid ink. Okay. Yeah. But don't brush your teeth with that. No. Charcoal, no. yes. You know, paint and yeah. eat. So how do we start this? How do we start it? Well, we're going to start with the way every single pasta is made from the history of the beginning. You mm -hmm. guys are gonna agree with me for this, so we have olive oil. Right, right way back. Right from when we started. Yep. Chopped up garlic, right? We've got shallots. Jay, you like that? I love it. Mm -hmm. And then a little bit of pepperoncino. Oh, Ooh, of course. Yeah. Right. This Lovely. is the way everything starts. Yeah. We just let that sweat off. My gentleman over here, we've got some squid because if we're doing a squid ink, we need some squid. Yep. Once you pull those up and kind of show them off a little bit. Look at that. I don't particularly like to use the wings. I don't know if you guys do. No. Take it out. No. And then there's a few other things. You're not to show them the beak. So wait, is that how you, so you go to your fishmonger and yeah, that it looks like that? It looks just like that. And now, you gotta take so it out of the, whatever that is, take it the out white of the tube. thing? They're really easy to clean actually. And they Are have they? a little like plastic clear spine in there, which you're gonna remove too, right Jay? See the nice. beak? Look at the beak. You're gonna take the beak out of the head just like that. Yeah. Oh. And you're Don't do to go. this at home. <laughs> do this at home. Okay, okay. And I want you, can you take the wings off too, Yeah, please? we'll take okay. the wings off. See, you just need a couple chefs at home to help you through this. You'll get this done, no problem at all. But you I can think buy what's it. interesting is that we're so, we, a lot of us are so, and I'm talking about myself here, so, like so many steps away from the actual food stores that it's weird to, act, to see a real squid and to know that that's what it looks like. Because all we've ever what? seen is sort of, the squid in like children's books are at the aquarium. Like they never looks or like battered like rings. <laughs> every fishmonger and every grocery store has squid. You have to ask. They're so and small. They, well, they, they get larger and they get smaller. Okay. A couple of fish are a little bit smaller. But I was actually, thinking of octopus, them, I guess. It's like the best thing in the world because when you cook it just gently and softly, it just kind of melts in your mouth. And mm -hmm. It gives you that kind of like little pop to it, yeah, right? I mean, it breaks up the pasta a little bit. Love it. When sort it's cooked, of like right, octopus. The is amazing. Like, yeah. I've had deep fried squid. Oh, yeah. I've had, I mean, deep fried anything really uh, is good. <laughs> Delicious. That makes sense for sure. Yeah. Um, it's delicious deep fried, but the reason why it's so delicious deep fried is cooked really quickly. It's right. submerged, boom. So when we're doing it in the pasta, we're going to do the same kind of thing. Okay. So whenever we're doing pasta, I don't know, we could do a cassareccia, we could do a garganelli, but I think, you know, this kind of dish just really needs a spaghetti because you're going to have that long kind of suck to it mm -hmm. and it just kind of breaks down all the barriers. So Jay, what we're do you think? It? Let's go in. Do Let's it. do this up. So watch this. Just to catch up on the Ooh. pasta sauce, I basically yep. caramelized it a little bit, then I hit it with some white wine, then I hit it with some pulp tomato, some mm. capers, some black olives, and so we have this really strong flavor profile. Nice. It's like rich, it's gorgeous, it's red, it's Yummy. looking great, and you'll see the calamari is kind of like just going to start going and sucking up a little bit, right? Okay. It's just like... <laughs> It's kind of like, you know what it's going to do? It's kind of like in its new year and it's just going to flex a little bit in there, you know what I mean? It's going to feel good. And then we're going to put in some like... Well, Al Dante, let's do this before we do that. We're gonna yeah. go right in now, the dish. Now, do you dish, put pasta water in your sauces? Every single time, Jake. I can't do every, it. Can't every do single it? time. Really? really? So that's so the thing. So check yeah. this out. We're gonna put a little bit 
a squid ink in, just like one, two, three little bombs like that. Mm -hmm. And you're ready for this? Oh, yeah. I need to ask you something then. Ooh, if you oh, that really wow. spreads. Yeah. If you're gonna use this, oh, that looks <laughs> good. That looks cool. All of a sudden, we just That's put a tuxedo on that cool. pasta. There we go. Yeah, Jay, a little it's bit of water. Coming out tonight. <laughs> yeah. And this is where we get a little bit crazy because you know the Italians won't do this, but every other right person on the planet yeah. will. <laughs> <Touch your butter. laughs> Massimo's not here. We That's right. Send your pizza pot, in, right? please. You know how many Italians are watching the show right now? A uh, little bit of pat, a little bit of butter. butter. Maybe okay, a little bit of butter. It it's looks an, amazing. It's a um, 2020 trend. I it's swear a trend. to you. I but swear to you. In. This is what I want to ask you. If you're going to use um, squid ink, do you need to have very powerful flavors to begin with happening? Because that's what you did with your sauce. Yeah. And is that one of the things you want to make sure you do? It would definitely, definitely help. Because right? is this squid because ink overpowering? It, or? It's not overpowering. It actually has very little flavor. Okay. It just has a little bit of that iron kind of feel to it. So you need your but flavor from elsewhere. But then this. Oh, oh, you yeah. need your flavor from elsewhere. And that's where the pepperoncinos and the garlic started. Wow. Oh, oh, my God. Yeah, oh, my God. Wow. Push the rest of the noodles. But you is know, this a first date no. food? Yeah. Actually, I think you <laughs> should. Do not eat I this think, on a first date? I think you should throw a white party oh, and then <laughs> serve this as the main course. <laughs> that's yeah. what, that's that's the, the trend. Eat with really your hands, there. everybody. Right? Like you would know who your real friends were. Right? And then just to finish, <laughs> just to give me a little bit, just come on. Just to like yeah, a little bring bit. it up like that. Look well, listen, it looks good. Uh, that looks good. I'm just, does it get all over your teeth when you eat it? Because we're going to go eat it in the back. Oh, no. That's why you give some white wine. <laughs>